Hello everyone, I'm OSJ and this is my video on the 20 best movie based games on the Commodore 64. Back in the day, blockbuster movies and games came hand in hand, although a lot of them were complete turkeys, but a handful of them were true classics. All in all, there were well over 70 movie tie-ins on the C64 and this is what I would say are the cream of the crop. So let's kick it off with Robocop in 20th place. This was the first big box game I ever bought. I remember I was about 11 at the time and we had watched the 18 rated movie at a friend's house on his birthday. The film was and still is one of the best sci-fi movies ever made and although this game doesn't live up to the movie, it's still a great game even if it wasn't finished at the time. But now it is and it's one of my favourites. Next in 19th position is the Dam Busters. It's a strategy flight sim game that although very basic looking in the flight bits, it's really engrossing and will have you hooked once you figure out what to do. Alien 3 is in 18th place, now this game would have been high if it wasn't so hard, but once you get over the initial shock of the difficulty, there's an absolute class game underneath and the soundtrack is awesome. Seventeen place is taken by Suburban Commando. This is a pretty good forgotten gem, to be honest. It starts out as a standard shoot 'em up, but then turns into a platform game, and a good one at that. Whether you like Hulk Hogan or not, this game is definitely worth trying out. In 16th position is Jaws, now there were two versions of Jaws on the C64, this is the best of them. It has a real cinemaware feel to it, even though it's not made by them, but made by a lesser known name, Box Office Software, which sounds very like cinemaware to me. Anyway, it's a great game that really captures the feel of the movie. Gremlins the Adventure Game takes 15th place. I was never a big text adventure player, but this game had me hooked from the very start. Yeah, it is text, but it also has some great drawn scenes and adds a bit of a nice touch to a text adventure. It follows the film faithfully, which is also great for a text adventure as you sort of know what to do if you have watched the movie. Fourteen place is taken by Alien. This game is one of the most atmospheric on the list. It's an old game and you wouldn't expect a game as old as this to make you jump but it does in parts. It is also very like the movie and is a must play for all horror genre lovers. In 13th position is Licence to Kill. Now there were some pretty rubbish Bond games on the earlier systems, but this one is rather good to be honest. There are shoot em up, run and gun and spy hunter type levels in it. It's one that doesn't get boring quick because of the different styles. Defo the best Bond game on the system. The Untouchables in 12th place. 
Now I've said this in another video, but if there's a game that got the music just right for the feel of the era of the game, then this is it. The gameplay and graphics are class too, as you take the part of Elliot Ness and his team to take down Al Capone. Eleven place is taken by Rambo First Blood Part 2. I got this and another two games in this list in the Hollywood pack that came with my C64. It was always a hard game but I just loved the music and it was a game that I always played. I later found out the reason it was so hard is that you can complete it in under 5 minutes. In 10th place is Die Hard. Die Hard is one of my favourite movies ever. And in this game you play the part of John McClane taking on the terrorists that have took hostage workers in the Nakatomi Tower. It's a great action adventure game that follows the plot of the movie well. Aliens is in 9th place. Really pinpoint adaptation of the movie here. Like the first Alien game, this one throws up some scares. And although it's not the best looking game, it's got some of the best gameplay and sound effects of any of the games on the list. The fight with the Alien Queen at the end as Ripley in the Robot Lifter is class. Eighth place is taken by The Great Escape. This was another game that came with the Hollywood pack and it's one that frustrated me endlessly as a kid. While as you can see it's a specky port, that actually works for this game giving it the atmospheric feel of a prisoner of war camp. Later in life I picked this back up and it's a great game and will have you playing it for ages and using a bit of grey matter on the way. In 7th place is Ghostbusters. This is a bit of a love-hate game as some people complain when it's on best lists but it's a class game. The music, although repetitive, is awesome. The game is based on the blockbuster film that follows the plotline of Venkman and crew travelling around the city in a bid to stop Gozo. And as in the movie, we even get the appearance from the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. me! <laughs> Goonies takes 6th place. As you can see this wins no prizes for graphics, but what it lacks in that department is more than made up for in the gameplay and music, as you try to get the gang of Goonies to the ultimate goal of finding one-eyed Willy's treasure. The Goonies is one of my all-time favourite films, and this game is very good. Fifth position is taken by Batman. Everyone loved the Michael Keaton movie, and this game delivered a great movie feel, with the action following that of the movie to a T. The music is one of the best on the system, and it's a game that I would still be glad to pick up and play through today. In 4th place is Labyrinth. This is based on the movie starring David Bowie and it's done very much in the style of Zap McCracken and the Maniac Mansion. And that's because although it's an Activision game, it was actually made by LucasArts. As with aforementioned games, it's really good. It's just a shame that those two games overshadowed it because this is a great point and click adventure.
Platoon takes third position. This was the first ever game I loaded up on my C64. From the loading tune I was hooked. The intro music too was completely right for the game. When I was young this game was rock hard as it was a case of working out what to do and I never ever got past the tunnels. I have though since completed it and it's a class game that really captured the atmosphere of the movie. Second place is taken by Hudson Hawk. Now it's a true feat when the 8-bit game actually outdoes the movie it was based on, and in this game it certainly did. The Bruce Willis film was mediocre at best, but the game is a brilliant platform game with lovely graphics and sound. It misses the in-game soundtrack, but the true star of the game is the gameplay which is second to none. And now in first place is Navy Seals. Another Charlie Sheen movie here, and another time where the game was better than the film. It looks great, sounds great, and plays as good as any platform game on the system. The difficulty is a bit of a stopping point for most gamers though, but once you learn the game it's a great play, and defo deserves top spot. Ok that's it for this video, let me know what your favourite C64 movie based games are in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Oh, and if you can support me on Patreon for as little as $1, please do. I'm not Patreon based, but I have big plans involving Patreon this year. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.